They're also without DeAndre Williams for a third straight game. And also Alex Lomax for a fifth consecutive game. The Pirates are without J.J. Miles, a senior, for the second straight game. And inside early, the Tigers can't control. But you see what Memphis wants to do. They yeah. want to pound it inside. And look, look at the Pirate lineup. A little bit of a change today yeah. in the starting five for ECU. They're starting in this uh, game here today. R.J. Felton. Good good job getting speed in there against the quickness of Memphis. Memphis goes to a full court press to start with, but a good defensive job inside on the first possession by ECU. And, of course, Tristan Newton, who is third in the AAC in, shoot in scoring. Tremont Robinson-White for East Carolina in the game. Starting for the second straight game, and this is the Memphis lineup today. They have Earl Timberlake in there today, along with Imani Bates, who pulls up off the baseline and buries it. Well, at 6'9, he can play one, two, three. I mean, he can play any position. And Memphis doing the right thing on the road, pressing early. Bates, a five star recruit, preseason all AAC second teamer. And here is that Memphis starting five for Coach Hardaway. Yeah, and you see Timberlake starting out there. He can be he can be a master out there. But Duran and Bates are just two of the top players in the country. Keep an eye on Lester Keones. He's yeah. someone that Joe Dooley says is going to be a real matchup problem for his team today. A turnover. Bates in transition. Easy deuce. Yeah, you can't play loose if you're ECU against a Memphis team that's long. They have they have great wingspans and they're great athletically and they got beat against UCF. They're going to be hungry today. They were down 19 on the road, but failed to come back losing by 10. And that's Tremont Robinson White. He's a Little Rock, Arkansas Juco transfer. And if he's making threes, that's a good thing for Joe. Well, and Keones is guarding him, and Keones is a really good defensive player. Big time shot for for uh, Tremont Robinson. Duran, Frank giving him room. They'll go post extended to Mayotte. He'll work on Jackson. Bothered him just enough, but they get it back with Keones. Jackson inside secures the miss. Now Newton to the front court for ECU. They're 9-0 in this building this season. And they're going to double Jackson anytime he gets it, make him give it up. Newton kicks Felton for three. The freshman misses, but it's a weak side offensive rebound for Jackson who will back it in. He'll look to improve his position. Frank, foul line extended, up and in. Uh, if Frank has the games he can have, you can be in this basketball game. He's physically strong, can match up. You know, he played at South Carolina, so he's used to big bodies. Transferred in from the Gamecock program. Memphis missing early, but another offensive rebound, but a travel underneath. And if you're East Carolina, let's see if they're going to continue. Memphis will continue to press. They want to pit, put the heat on and try to get out of here early, get a lead early. Penny Hardaway's team, number two in the American in rebounding. They'll get after it on the backboards. If you're East Carolina, you continue to shoot the three ball when you get the open look. That's going to be the difference in the game today. Robinson White will give it up now to Felton out on the wing. Ten on the shot clock. Inside Frank, tough catch underneath. Spots Jackson up top. Going to call a... Yeah. And that's the kind you've got to go ahead and take it. You, you know, if you hesitate today, you're not going to get it off. Yep. This team is long and a great play by Franks. He found him and hit him with the open shot. You've got to take it immediately. You've got to be set to shoot it. Second Pirate turnover. Lob, cut, laid up and in. That's a great pass and nobody from the weak side to pick it up and help erase it. Good job by, I thought, Tremont Robinson on the ball. East Carolina losing at Cincinnati themselves on the road on Wednesday. They trailed in that first half by 23, but got it to five with three minutes to go. And had chances, had open looks, and just didn't knock it down. So both these teams, as the ball is picked up and sent home, Mayock. Yeah, you had the loose ball, and you got to, when you get it, you can't just go. you got to control it, and ECU didn't do that. And Memphis will make you play. They're very well coached. They play strong, and they're they're long. Tigers one and four on the road, two and five away from FedEx Forum this year, and that's Robinson White for his second from three. A uh, great job, and if he's hitting, and you've already had him doing that, it changes everything because. 
That's not what you expect if you're Memphis in the scouting report. He had 14, including a big dunk late in the game off a of steal in the Pirates' inevitable loss at Temple a week ago. Tie game here early. That was blocked. It's tracked down, though. Duran, and he can't hang on. It'll go the way of the Pirates. 8-8 eight, eight early Just in New front of a block. good crowd inside of Greenville. Why not for Memphis? Threes early on. Pirates have inserted a, another freshman into the lineup, plus Brandon Suggs, who's got the ball now, is back in. But Javon Small, who played really well, scored seven at Cincinnati. And, and Memphis goes to a zone, which is, uh, you know, you got to be smart. Suggs has got to really control. He struggled against Cincinnati. And he Hardaway has put Malcolm Dandridge into the lineup for the Memphis Tigers, number 23. That's a short jumper there. Yeah, I, I like it. It's small. I like the way he's playing. He's, he's really playing good defense. That's, they're a little quicker right now. Javon Small had offers from, among others, Virginia Tech, Kent State, Ball State. Dandridge had it knocked away, but stepping on the baseline when he knocked the ball away was Jackson. Again, uh, Joe Dooley's been going to eight or nine players, so this is not unusual. And he, let me tell you something. He doesn't miss a beat. You see him over there. He's a tremendous basketball coach. That jumper is short. They've struggled from behind the arc this year. Newton yet to score in this game. Tristan Newton averaging nearly 18. Yeah, Ke Keonis is on him, and that's a big matchup. That's a tough matchup. And a third Pirate turnover yeah. here in the early minutes. Wasn't there. It's against the zone. You can't make that pass. A pretty spin up with the shot. Too strong with it, though, is Earl Timberlake. Gets it back, puts it in. Yeah, nobody came to help. you got to hit the boards hard. Weak side, just not there. Transfer from Miami, 14 against Tulane earlier in the year. Did not play in the game Wednesday night. It's going to be a foul called against Minot. I, I really like Minot. I mean, he's a young kid. He's a, you know, he's, he's down from Boca Raton area of Florida, and he's just a heck of a – he's going to be really good for, for Memphis. He's just a great player. You're bringing in a really good one, though. Newton. Yeah. Tristan with the defender draped all over him. That's going to be a foul on Keone's. Yeah, Keone's on him. But now you have to really be careful if you're East Carolina because what they've done, they bring Tyler Harris in, and he can shoot it from anywhere. Pirates have put Luigi DeBoe into the lineup, replacing Frank Brandon Johnson, the third leading rebounder in the American, is also into the game. And here comes Duran after a brief breather. Bates will go out. Small inbounding. That's DeBoe with it. Tried to get it to Suggs. Newton, though, will pick up the basketball near the midcourt strike. Tristan elevates, rattles out, boarded underneath Duran, who averages seven rebounds a game, second in the AAC. Dionis en route to the hoop. He's going to be fouled. Dandridge calls the miss. He's long and looked like Tristan had an open look, and Dandridge did a good job stepping in and, and uh, making the shot go up higher. The arc was too high. 25 for Memphis to operate here. We're not quite six minutes gone by. Fed into the corner. Dandridge, though, will give it up. Dandridge in the circle. And East Carolina, Suggs getting the miss. Memphis, five of their first 13. Below 40 or just over 40%. Pirates, three of seven here early, but have turned it over three times. Suggs open for three. He has really struggled from behind the arc. He has now missed his last eight three-point attempts, or actually his last 12 three-point attempts. Yeah. And that's one looped up and in by Tyler Harris. We talked about him in our open. He is coming off the bench today, but the senior can be a difference maker. Oh, no doubt. And no no one got back on the third pass. They should have been there by then, but you, you don't have to worry. Tyler Harris will make you pay. A really good player. Memphis, their largest lead of the game so far. And that's going to be a reach in Dandridge this time. And again, if you're East Carolina, you really think about it. You got six of these points from Tremont Robinson, who is not known for being an offensive star. Memphis can smother you defensively. 
And I tell you, I look over that bench and I see Larry Brown. He can make a big difference in that part of the game. He's working the officials over there and a heck of a coach. Now back to the zone. Can you hit against the zone? It's a long zone. Ooh, it's with, a big zone. I mean, it? you're talking 6'8", six, 6'9", six, on the perimeter, inside 6'10", and 6'10". Robinson White will take a long three this time, left it short. Chased down by Dandridge. Harris slows it up, gets it to Bates. Bates working on DeBoe, who got a piece. Tipped around, small. Robinson White back to small, goes up, blocked. No call, and this is going to be Duran on the other end. No call at the end on the foul. I, that's hard to believe he didn't get a call there. Memphis, number 10 in the NCAA in shots blocked per game. They blocked 17% of the opponent's field goal tries. Two-man game work there, and DeBoe gets hit on the arm. Right now, you're in dangerous territory if you're East Carolina. You're looking at it, and you'll see how coming down the big dunk, but I'd rather see the other end about the shot that got blocked I, I, on the two-on-one break. But it's a heck of a dunk at that end. Harris on the reach in the fourth Memphis foul here. Suggs. Robinson White looking for Johnson inside. Johnson, his birthday today for ECU. He has shot 59% from the floor over the last several games. And there's another Pirate turnover. Yeah. Harris leaking out with the lead in. Harris to the left hand. Joe Dilley's going to take a timeout, and I don't blame him. Nine-point Memphis lead on a 7-0 run in Greenville. The Tigers can turn defense. You've got the same group in. Can you get stops if you're East Carolina? You have Tristan Newton out, Jackson out. How long can you stay with your second unit? Right now, Memphis getting their way. That loss for the Tigers snapped a three-game losing streak. Inside Brandon Johnson. Suggs for three. No. DeBoe battling inside. Tipped out. Comes to the way of Minot. Nice move by Minot, and then the finish. Nobody stopped him in midstream, and you're not going to stop a kid 6'8 that can handle the ball like he is. And you see, they're still mad about the UCF thing. I can tell you, I know this ball club. Tigers with a lead of 11. They're on a 9-0 run over the last three minutes. Yeah. This is Suggs. And if you're ECU, where are you getting your offense? They're really struggling finding it. you got three guys coming in, but right now you're down to four. You've got to hoist it up. The freshman buries it from the top of the circle. That's a big bucket. I like the way he played the last game, and I like the way he's playing. Small has hit three of four from behind the arc in limited action this season. Not a shooter. You can back off him and help him everywhere else. Oh, Johnson couldn't get it, and then a foul committed as the ball came free, and Dandridge put it in. Yeah, it, you know, you, you slap at it. This Memphis team is strong physically. You'll look, it looks like he's got it. There's the back, the step-back jumper by uh, Javon Small, and that's great for the freshman. He steps back. Great shot over Imani Bates, who's 6'9". Big time shot. Dandridge, 46% at the line against UCF. They were 6 of 18 at the stripe the other night. Yeah, he's not the guy that you want on the line in desperate situations. But the other part of it is, can you get the rebound? Jackson saves it in. And a foul's going to be called. That'll be two on Harris. Well, and that's a good call by the official. He waited to see if Newton came up with it. He was going to let it be a play on. But then he made the call. Randy Heimerman, Sean Cassidy, and John Hampton are officials today. Good crew out there. No, ever, it's just a good crew. Now you're going deep. This is a deep move when you're bringing in. I mean, that's, that's what's going on right now with Memphis. Memphis without some key players here today. To Darius Jacobs, a freshman from Memphis, is on the floor. Jackson, pump fake. Pirates working around the horn. Robinson White. That's goaltending. No call. 
Frank back in. Robinson White gets it. Squirts out to Newton. And that one ahead of a ticking down shot clock was short. And they're going to go the other way. In front of us, that looked like a goal pin. Let's see if it hits the backboard. Let's see. Yes, yeah. it hits the backboard. Should That's have been goal a goal pin. Yeah. And we have the angle on it. It was. Pirates have trailed by 11. Memphis has hit their last four. Pirates just one of their last nine from the floor. Yeah. Timberlake. And the board taken by Frank. Push no. ahead. Not a good pass. Deflected into the Memphis bench. Again, if you're ECU, you're forcing against a team you cannot force. This this Memphis team is long, athletic, and they're not going to let you get beat. Knowing that he was going to be without some key guys today offensively, he's really, and I mean Penny Hardaway when I say he, has really coached up these guys defensively. Their effort on defense today has been superb. Yeah, the, the, yeah, it has been. And listen, you get it the same with Nolly and Williams. They're, they're tremendous players. This team, when they gel, they can be as good as anybody. In the preseason, ranked number 12, made it to high as number nine in November, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Yeah, they're going to wave it, it off. off. Yeah, so far, you, you know, that, that one I don't know. If he wasn't in it. Let's see if he's in the box. Nope, good job. He got there, good call. And again, nice job uh, by the official and a good call. That's the second on Tristan Newton, who stays out on the floor. So a yeah. little bit of a gamble here for Joe Dooley, knowing that he needs some offense, his team down 10. And you see the Memphis run over the last five and a half. And Joe Dooley's working that official on that side. He's really upset. You can see it right now. He's, he's working it hard. Jalen Dern, just two points here today. It was a drive, shot up, and banked off the window by Jacobs. And right now, you see, he's getting good looks. They're just not knocking down shots. He didn't miss the goal, Tim, but you've had good looks. Largest lead of the day for Memphis after the Jacobs hoop. Pirates need to get Jackson going, coming off a career-high 35. He's yet to scratch today. Tough catch. Couldn't finish, but nobody put a body on Keonis. He called a foul on that, I think. Or did he? Yeah, he called it. No, okay, Joe Dooley took the timeout. Dooley took the timeout, and any time you go right now. Rasheed Wallace doesn't appear to be here today. Larry Brown, by the way, eighth, eighth I should say, uh, in wins all time in NBA history is Larry Brown. NBA title, NCAA title, of course, played at UNC. It's going to be the sixth Memphis foul, a reach in. Well, they're just playing aggressive off the ball, grabbed, uh, grabbed him that time. And, and if you're ECU, grab Tristan Newton. It's Dandridge. Only three fouls so far on the Pirates. Newton surrounded on the right side. Suggs will drive this time instead of taking the three. Spins, shoots, and scores. You better get back on the other end. They run hard after makes. And ECU gets back big bucket by Suggs. And in Suggs, average of just four and a half his last two games coming in. Hoisted for three, swish. Six foot nine, steps out and knocks it down. And it was a bad matchup. In other words, Jackson struggles with that kind of guy. The Memphis lead is greater than the amount of points the Pirates have scored here this afternoon. You see, you dribbles and then holes. You, you've got to dribble with a purpose. You just don't dribble. Robinson White. Good feed on the cut to Suggs, goes glass. Can you get stops? See, Jackson cannot go. Look, nobody picks him up. Fates again zeroes in and splashes it home. Yeah, they're coming back with guys that can guard him. I mean, he's just wide open. Nobody's picking him up. Ten for Amani Bates, the preseason all-second team AAC selection. He is... Now got three in a row in double figures. This Bates, Frank inside battling, had it ripped away, picked up Imani Bates now. The freshman, he's hot, heat check for Bates. He's on fire. And he's that good. There's a reason he's supposed to be the seventh pick in the, in the draft. And he's only 17 years old, but they're lighting it up and Joe Dooley's struggling. 
Trying to stop the bleeding is Memphis. And I love what Memphis is doing. They come right back in full court pressure, make you bring it up slow and always work. To say Memphis on a 6 0 spurt, they've hit four of their last four, and Pirates are just trying to do something to get going here. Here's a double team. They spot Robinson White in the corner. Does Newton, and he'll make it from there. Nice shot by Newton to throw over, but it took everything against the length. Now, can you get stops? Stolen. Robinson White. Other end jams it through. And can you make a little run, get back into it? They are subject to this. That's why you don't get down. If they are on, they're great, but they can go the other way. Memphis, you got to stay tough. Crowd has to stay with it. Good crowd here today. In fact, the student pre-request for tickets was up over a thousand. Usually more of a walk-up crowd here in Greenville for student tickets. Their student attendance is up 40% this year. Johnson, and that's going to be a foul called on him inside. Okay, you'll see. Tremont Robinson gets in the passing lane, blocks the shot, and does the right thing. Finishes with a dunk. If you put it on the glass, that crowd's going to go after it. Nice job, that body, Tremont Robinson. Fourth Pirate foul. Duran 58.5% from the foul line this year. The question is, 58%, can you, can you get the rebound? They are long, and I'm talking about Memphis is long. Attempts just over three a game. Knocked that one in for his third point. From the Keystone State, number one recruit, preseason rookie of the year in the American first teamer, a 7 5 and one quarter wingspan for Durham. Yeah. Missed the foul shot. It's a trail by 19, it's now 15. And, and you hit a three here, you get something going, you can get right back in it. The CU is. Struck on four of their last five. Johnson puts it on the floor. Kicks it out. Suggs for three. And that snaps a long streak of missed threes for Suggs. He had missed 13 in a row before knocking that one down. And Memphis takes the timeout. And it's a good timeout. EC runs it off. This is how you coach. A good job with it. But ECU right back in this thing if they can play defense pretty good. Over the top, Bates, who has 13, has yet to score after he went on that mini 9-0 run himself. Uh, you see, you've gone to the zone. This is where you have to be careful with the offensive rebounds by Memphis. You've got to hope for the miss, but you better attack the glass. Drive, my not Ooh. challenging Frank and laid it in. That's unbelievable what he can do. He's so long. 6'8", freshman goes over your center and finishes easy. He's matched his output that he had in 29 minutes against UCF on Wednesday. So six for him here. That answers the pirate run that ECU had after the timeout. Inside Frank blocked. That's a tough call. Bates. Tried to no look it to the cutter on the baseline, turned it over. You don't think it makes a difference. Look what they've done. They bring back Tyler Harris. They need this game, and they know they can go on bad runs. So they bring back Tyler Harris at the point, which is a smart move because he controls that ball club. He's very tough. He's very shifty and very smart, and he's a veteran. I like, I like what Memphis is doing. Bates out, Keonis in. Mr. Keonis, a member of the all-freshman team in the American back in the 1920 season. And this is a chance if you're Tristan Newton, take advantage. You can get stuff here. See, it, it, he's quicker than Timberlake, and he gets fouled. Reach in on Timberlake, seventh on Memphis, so it'll be a one and one yeah, for Newton. You'll go to the one and one. When that matchup occurred, even Tristan felt it. So he goes to the line. You can cut it to 12 and stay with it. That's what you want to do. Get it under 10, and you're in the game. Well, that's certainly where you want to be, I think, going into the final three minutes of the half, if you can. Felton. Not scored today. In El Paso, Texas. 88% at the line this year. And uh, Newton now will look to complete the back end here. Just the, number two in the American in free throw shooting. And, and people, if you're watching it on TV, the length of Memphis is really special. They are so long, it is hard to get off good shots. Knocked away. Keonis to the floor. 
It's going to be out of bounds off Memphis. It'll be Pirate basketball. That's just great hustle by both ball clubs. Nice job by Felton to sneak in there, though, and disrupt that. Good job by ECU to stay with it. And now you hit it here, you get it to 10. They've done a nice job coming. Suggs back to Newton. Knocked away. Boy, their hands are so quick. This Memphis defense, so long, so active. Tigers have led by as many as 19, up a dozen. Some in Houston or in Tulsa, either way, he's going to be tough. Tough catch by Felton, blocked from behind. And that's another rejection for this Memphis team. They've blocked a lot of shots here early on. That'll be out of bounds. It'll go the way of the Pirates. That is their third block of the afternoon officially. You got the guys that can shoot it. Now, can you get open? You, you know, ECU's got guys in there that can shoot it right. So Memphis basketball. You better find this guy. If you're ECU, you can't look around. ECU's gone to the zone. And, and I tell you, weapons all over the place for this ball club. Bates can knock it down and watch for the follow shot on the rebound. They, they're just tough. Jacobs back in. He has the ball for Memphis. Uh-oh. Harris. Bullseye. Yeah, he's too good. You, you, it's really hard to go. Zone. Now, think about that turnover. You had ball down 10, and now you're down uh, 13. That's a big turnover, uh, a, a, a no call, a tough no call. Jackson. Pump fake. Stops. Surrounded. Stripped. Memphis to the floor. And the arrow will keep it with East Carolina. They'll have 16 seconds to yeah. work with here. Yeah. Si, this was a great job of working the ball on the baseline we're going to see here. And then just hanging out of your Harris, catching, Harris, yeah. spotting, shooting, and scoring. Sucks came over, didn't get there. And the thing is, it's not Sucks' fault. That shot was probably 29 feet. I mean, he can do that. Three away from sole place on the Memphis all-time charts for threes made. But you can't let it get away. You had it to 10 in possession. You, you can't let it get away from you right now. Well, they had Frank but didn't get it to him. And now Pirates will work it with 10 on the shot. Newton trying to keep the dribble alive. Newton off the bounce. Step against, stripping it, stealing it. It's Harris. Ahead to Bates. Euro step up off target. That's going to be Dandridge. Nice. Called for over the back. Nice job. Good break for East Carolina. Good defense. But again, Memphis could have extended the lead to 15. Now you get the call here because of hustle, and you're going down to shoot a one and one, and you got to have them. I know Bates missed that, but that was a heck of a move he put on. <laughs> it was a great move. Now, Suggs, you know, Suggs is a, is a guy that, that can come to the line and, and keep you in this game. Can he do it? And in this kind of game, you got to hit him. I mean, that's how close it goes. Joe Dealey working that official that made the call. He's we, working it right now. We saw Penny Hardaway a few moments ago. He's taken a lot of heat in Memphis this year. Oh, if you're at Memphis and, and you're not winning, you're catching. Tigers are 9-6 and six coming in, 3-2 and two in the American. Suggs will get the back end here. That's a big, big shot by Suggs. I mean, everything now is to keep it so you can get, get in that second half and regroup. First time tonight, he, or today, he has not been in the starting lineup for the Pirates this year. 77% at the line. He did not play in the second half against Cincinnati Wednesday. Missed the foul shot. Lead is a dozen for the Tigers here on the road. Yeah, that, that's a tough miss, but you, an ECU in the zone, you know these guys can shoot it, especially the guy at the top. Harris can knock it down. Bates can knock it down. They've got them. I mean, they've got shooters. You better find them. Harris lob slam by Duran. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Harris just does not panic, does no, he? No, and that's a heck of a pass. Now, can you answer maybe with a three here and cut it to 11? And yeah, you can. Pirates came in the number one three point shooting team as far as percentage goes in the American today. They're five of 12 from deep. Frank inside rolled out on him. Wow. That was halfway around and popped out. Harris lost it, loose ball. Robinson White out to Newton, has a trailer, keeps it himself, and banks it in. Well, you, you, you get it. That's a great job. Now, can you get a stop here? I mean, what a job by Memphis. They, they're just playing right as hard as they can. Just had a tough break at midcourt. His first field goal today. Tigers come down, can hold for virtually 
the final shot of the half. They're shooting 56% from the floor. And, and listen, ECU only down by 12. And these are decent shots. I mean, they've knocked down shots. Tigers today, five of seven from deep. In the paint, Duran yeah, didn't get a hand in his face. He buried it. Ahead, Robinson White. And he went down hard. Looks like he turned his ankle a little bit, but he's okay. Nice job by ECU to get down the floor. You still got two and a half seconds left. You can get a good shot here. It was a tough catch off oh. that lead pass. The fact that he got hands on it and at least got it up was pretty amazing. Robinson White, 11. And that leads the Pirates here in the first half. Suggs with eight. Just two points for Vance Jackson, their second leading scorer, and four for Newton, their leading scorer. I don't know if you don't, you don't want Tristan to pick up a third foul here. He got Newton. fouled. Blocked, no call. A 44-30 lead for Memphis on the road in Greenville against East Carolina. Undefeated this year at home, Harris. Hit the speed that's unbelievable today. Minot will inbound Memphis ball to start the half. And it's knocked away by Felton. The freshman goes in, reverses, and it would not drop for him, but he draws a foul. That's going to be the second on Timberlake. By the way, a change to the ECU lineup in the second half. Suggs starts with the aforementioned Robinson White. Yeah, and I, and I think, uh, and, and this is big for, for ECU. Instead of being a 16 point lead, you come back with Felton. But ECU's got to bring it the entire half. I mean, and you're right, there's a change with Suggs going in there because he played a good first half. Freshman from Aiken, South Carolina. Seven of eight before that miss from the line. He's yet to score here today. Had five points in 16 minutes this past weekend, or this past Wednesday in Cincinnati. Missed them both. It's big in this game. Every possession is so big when you're down 14. Now you give Memphis the ball back. But I love the way uh, he plays. Felton plays the way you have to play in this league. Pirates are three of six from the strike. Memphis has only gotten there twice today. 58% first half shooting the basketball for the Tigers. Good active hands by the Pirates inside. Suggs made a big time play. But can you score against this tough defensive ball club from Memphis? Here's the freshman. Just good solid ball movement and try to get something open. There it is. And that's your best shooter. Jackson popping out, swishing the three. You know, that's a big bucket because if Memphis scores first, they get on a run. You could be beaten. Now you're back in it. At Arkansas last year, started his career at UConn, but at New Mexico, that's the 220th three of his career. Felton, or rather, that's uh, Jackson bringing it down. Now he'll swing, send it back out. Nice bounce pass on the baseline on the cut, but Suggs could not hang on. I like the backdoor cuts, but the problem today, if you're ECU, when you go to that cut, you're looking at Duran, who is, you know, 6'11". I mean, he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna stop you. But a good pass, you're in the ball game, you've got to play great defense to get back in it. Inside Minot, got it back, just tossed it up. Frank inside battling the transfer from the SEC in South Carolina for Joe Dooley's team. He had 15 a week ago in Philly against Temple. Yeah, we're, you know. Steel, Memphis comes up with it. Bates leaves it off and a foul on Suggs. Minot yeah. will go to the line. Yeah, but uh, the entry pass at the other end, you got to make solid passes. ECU just struggling right now. And a good, good hustle by Memphis to get the loose ball and go down and get the chance. Vinny Hardaway, a gold medalist in 96. See, if, if you're ECU and you're playing young guys like Memphis is young, you got to stay close and hope they can make mistakes of, because of pressure. They're doing, you're just far enough out, the crowd doesn't get in it. And so if you're ECU, that's a problem. Minot at 65%, four-star recruit, a top 30 kid. Yeah. And when the calendar flipped, he was the freshman of the week in the American. He's the real deal. 
He's got eight here today. Shoots 53% from the floor, averaging six and four for Memphis this year, but having to step up because they're without a couple of key players today, including missing today Landers Nolly. Inside Frank, spinning up and drawing a foul. Let's see who that's on. It is, you better be a man in there today. And Frank can handle this. He, he's hurt, though. I'm telling you, it's, it's a great physical game, and ECU staying right with it. Can you make a dent and make this thing close? Second on Minot, and it's the second Memphis foul of the afternoon. 67% free thrower is Zoe Frank, Lonzo Frank out of Jersey City, New Jersey. Had a brother that played at FIU and then LIU Brooklyn and overseas. Just two points, bothered by foul trouble at Cincinnati midweek. Now, Harris has entered the lineup. Who's going to guard him? And you better stay with him. And I would think it would be Tremont Robinson. Yeah. Robinson White gets in his grill. Now he, he'll back off. He's your best on the ball, ball defender. He can really make you pay, though. He is so quick. Harris turns it over, picked up by Frank. Well, he and Darren, a couple of men, aren't they? Inside, Sugg stripped on the way up. Loose ball comes to the Tigers. Joe Dooley screaming for a foul. Yeah, I don't blame him. I mean, it's really fit. You better, you better just kick it out. I mean, it is. So, they are digging in, and, and I tell you, they are upset. Joe Dooley, when he gets to midcourt, he's upset. Bates, break out on him. Try to no-look pass deflected. Pirates come away with it. Newton. Leaks it ahead, Suggs, corner. Robinson White for his fourth three, no. Jackson chases it down. And we've got Bates down on the baseline. Didn't see it, I was blocked by the official outside, don't know what happened. But again, you're, you're in a game if you're East Carolina. I mean, you thought it was over, and yet you look up and you're down 11, and ECU playing well, the crowd's behind them. Timberlake and Dandridge are in. Let's see if we can pick it up here. Don't, yeah, let's see. Own player, maybe. Yeah, and I think he came down funny on his yeah. right ankle, and he's going to be aided off with the help of their trainer. And then Duran also heads to the bench. Frank, Robinson White. Newton with 12 on the shot. Step back, pulls for three. And the rebound collected by Minot. Look at this young guy. He's just so much fun to watch. Minot, his third rebound today. He's also got four assists to go along with eight points. Stepped out there. But see, this is the Memphis that comes about. That's why you're not winning like you could. You could have put this game away. Instead, ECU is staying around. You, you've got a shot if you're ECU. Robinson White dumps it off. Frank tried to send it out. Memphis deflects. Pirates pick up the ball, though. Their hands are so active. Here's Robinson White, pump fake, improves his position. Left it too strong, and the board collected underneath by Dandridge this time. Malcolm Dandridge out of Memphis. Lob in transition. Minot jams it down for his 10th. Yeah, and that's what happens. You miss an easy bucket at one end. Joe Dooley has one timeout. You can't call it. You're in the game, though. You're still close. Jackson sandwich between two defenders knocked away out of bounds will stay with the Pirates as we go under 16 here in the ball game Memphis up by 14 at the half had a great nip and tuck affair with Tulane here they got a lot of work left to do yeah they do and again this is your most talented team in this conference it's gonna be a double dribble and it's gonna be a turnover number 12 for East Carolina Memphis with 11 themselves and uh, they have not taken really good care of the basketball here in the second half no and if you're ECU again you Memphis has given you opportunities to get back in it and there's an offensive foul illegal screen on Dandridge again you've got you've got chances to get back in it you got to make it take advantage when you can against this Memphis ball club 
They've been sloppy on the offensive end, but on this end of the floor, oh. they've been dynamite today. Yeah. By the way, that standard is 30. He's the first player today to pick up three personals. And again, this zone matchup right now is really strong. Can you dribble, drive, and kick to get an open three here? Jackson dumps it off. Frank, and that snaps a streak of four in a row missed by the Pirates. And they've had good looks. And, and this thing could get interesting, but you never know with this. Uh, again, you've got too many good weapons out there for Memphis. Can they take advantage? Frank, two of four from the field shooting today. Dandridge. For the illegal screen again by Dandridge. That'll kill you. Joe Dooley's working it on that side. It's been physical all day long. Now, that's his fourth, but guess who they bring back in? Durin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Durin comes back. Well, Cy, 15 minutes to go. Yeah. And Durin has been providing some needed rest time from Dandridge. Dandridge out there, but now with four fouls, Durin's going to have to maybe log a few more minutes than he would otherwise with his team up double digits. Well, and again, you've got Bates. I'm not sure he'll come back. I'm sure he will if there's a way. Timberlake flopping there, no call. The problem is now, you go inside, Duren is an eraser. He's lurking in the background there as Jackson zipped it out to Newton. Suggs, yep. that's going to be a bump. Minot's third. And when you do it on the perimeter, you're going to get called, and he did it. I mean, he reached in for no reason. You had the shot clock going down. That's the fifth personal, or fifth team foul, actually, on Memphis this half. Joe Dooley's working it over there because they are fouls and you got you got to work. Memphis just moves their feet and don't reach. They're in good shape. Fresh 20 for the Pirates here. Newton, Jackson spins away from the defense but airballed it. Yeah. He, he really he's an outside. He's a perimeter guy. It's hard on him to shoot the, the normal big guy shot Almost stolen Timberlake spotted on the baseline. My he stuck it in nice play by Timberlake and a good finish It's his second assist nice delivery here is Robinson white and he's gone cold from deep Suggs great hustle he got Bopped on the head, and that's going to be Minot's fourth. Yeah, he's a good kid. Minot didn't mean to do it. He's right over top of him, and he didn't mean to do it. He's trying to help him up. Uh, Suggs took a tough shot, though, to the noggin. Yeah, he'll be all right. Yeah, and it's a good call. He didn't, and you're in the open court, and it's there, and he tried, he didn't want to do it, but then you bring him back bait. So you don't, he's okay. So you're okay if you're Memphis. But again, ECU still right in the ball game. You'll watch, uh, Suggs just stays with it, hustles out and gets it right there and then in the face right there uh, by the young freshman. So Minot will go to the bench. And so Memphis now with a couple of guys that are in their rotation today, already missing three players due to injury, have two guys on the bench with four fouls. Frank. Creating room and he got it to go. I guess the guy that can really make you make. I, I mean, he that's tough. And <laughs> so he seems still in it. Six in the half for Frank. Eight today. Pirates just trying to claw and get it to single digits. With the feeling that this crowd wants to have something to really get into if the Pirates could get a stop here and a score on the other end. You got to you got to really play tough if you see you against. So good. Like Duran made that look easy. Yeah, I know he did. He's just a really fun kid to watch play. 62 and a half percent from the floor. And you can see it does a good job with it. Robinson White, he'll hoist another corner three. He's missed three in a row. And they're there. They are wide open. That's two that he could have cut this thing deep. You got to take with, it, though. Tigers with the 13 point advantage here. That personal on Minot was the sixth team foul, so Pirates will be shooting free throws the rest of the afternoon. Bates back in the game. That's good to see it was blocked. And a foul on Bates, I think. Oh. Oh, Duran. Kick out Duran if you're ECU. Duran in there talking. Awfully thin. Yeah. 
and you've got chances if you're ECU. R.J. Felton yet to score today, converts on the front end. R.J. was a great singer in his youth choir. How about that? Really good, great high school player from South Carolina. ECU was so glad to get him. He's just a competitor. But if you're if you're Memphis, you go to the guns. You go to your leaders here. And that's what they want to do with their point guard. If you're ECU. He missed it. Here's a look there. That's my not leaving the bench. You see him getting it back. Joe Dooley putting yeah. it out. That was a quick look. Great job by our crew to catch that. Minot did leave the bench. You know, if you're ECU, I'm telling you, this team on the floor for Memphis is vulnerable. Except for that point guard, he's unbelievable. He's not scored in the second half. This three is That's up again. Kenyonis. They have so many places they can go. Kenyonis now stepping up. He's got Jackson's seven. Jackson's guarding Kenyonis, and he didn't get out in time. It's really a tough matchup. He was 0 for 4 from 3 the other night at UCF. Here's a 3 by Jackson pumped in. That's a big answer. And if he gets going, this game could get really interesting. Got it down to 12. Again, if you're ECU, completely playing the tough the man to man, but you better have high hands against the shooters. Jacks it out on Harris. Timberlake back to him. Harris. Little stutter step, pretty finish. Yeah, somehow Jackson got put on him. Ahead, Felton. Blocked. Late whistle. And it's going to be a foul Bates. on the Tigers. It's on Bates. Okay. Post games, it, he hasn't forgotten how to coach. No, he, he works hard with his ball club, and see, you missed the free throw. So that's, you know, the problem with ECU is you you miss free throws when you needed to hit them to stay in this game. One of five today is Felton. Yeah. Pirates are shooting just four of eleven in the second half as well. They've gotten shots, they've just not converted. And, and Memphis still hit, hitting. They're just doing a nice job. Suggs has returned. Memphis with seven turnovers here in the half, but they're five of eight from the floor. ECU getting some breathers in, and, and Javon Small guarding the tough little guard, and I'm telling you, he is really good. Hedging out on him was Johnson. BJ called for his second, and that is the second on the Pirates this half. Yeah, Harris got pushed on the, on the screen, a high ball screen, a hedging heavy. Johnson has not scored in this game today and has just one rebound. Swooping it up, but not in is Keonis. Going to stay with Memphis here. See, he just makes all the difference during. I mean, he keeps it alive. They get another possession out of this thing. And again, I, I, I'm telling you, Keonis against Jackson, he's going to take Jackson off the dribbles, what he's going to do. Rattled out, whistle, and it's going to be against the... Pirates here, East Carolina faithful. Not happy with that call against Suggs. Yeah. Well, really, what happens in a ball game? Officials are, are human. They look up and it was eight to one in fouls, and all of a sudden they're trying to. It's eight to three now. Well, certainly the Memphis bench also made that fact known. Yeah, and they're right. I mean, that's what you do. You got to protect, and not not wrong. You got to work it hard. Bates, and he, since he went on that run where he hit three trifectas in a row is not scored. Right. He's a good free throw shooter, 71 percent. 12.7 rebounds in the loss at USCF on Wednesday. Missed them both. Pirates have had a lot of opportunities here in the oh. second half. They just have not been able to convert and get this to single digits. And again, who who is out there? Jackson's a three-point shooter, but who can go to the goal? No, it's hard with the big man in there. He, he's an eraser. Jackson bumps. Going to be called on Keonis, his second. Yeah. Ninth on Memphis. Exacerbated Penny Hardaway. <laughs> You know, another interesting fact about Tyler Harris, he, he averaged 30 a game at Memphis, uh, in high school in Memphis. A guy that played, and we all remember him here, that the other guy that averaged 30 a game in the city of Memphis was Randy Culpepper. 
who went to U UTEP, and he was one of the most dynamic scorers in Conference USA at that time. He threw in dunks against these. He's about 5'9". He was unbelievable uh, and just a great player. So he is standing tall with a really super play. Somehow today, Vance Jackson, despite the slow start, has found his way to double digits. He's now got 10, and that's the seventh straight game he scored in double figures. Harris, Duran, out to Bates. Now, can you come off of anybody? I don't think so. Too many good shooters. Harris with Frank on him. Whips it over to Timberlake. The southpaw shoots. Rolled off. Frank the board. Jackson. Here's Newton. Over to Suggs. He'll hoist for three. Yes. So now look what you have. Eight-point game, and they're going to take the timeout. 57-49 timeout. Penny Hardaway. Yeah, it has been it. a rock fight today in some respects of the second half, but the Pirates, down 19, have clawed to get it. This is two key parts. Penny Hardaway Fishers. working Ooh. with the officials, but Ooh. Larry Brown, the Hall of Famer. They all work the officials. Oh, he was time. really, we had the Larry Brown death stare going towards one of the officials. <laughs> 12 now for Memphis. Suggs overplaying. Can't good retrieve. job. Yeah, good job by Suggs, but... Uh, ball went out of bounds. Might have been a break because it had numbers because he's on the floor out of bounds. And this is a little bit of a tough angle from where to throw the ball in from for Timberlake. Well, it, it, again, ECU is in the thick of it right now. You just got to defend. Harris, Duran, up with it, oh. scores. Just so much fun to watch. He's got 11. And that snaps a game without double digits or streak without... Double digits for him of two games. Okay, here you're, you're, you're really working it hard. This is good stuff that they're trying to get Tristan Newton going a little bit. Tigers by 10. Frank inside. Pump fake goes up. Scores! And one! That's where Frank is. A, a, listen, it's not luck. This kid played at South Carolina, was going to be their starting center, and he can physical up with anyone. And this half, he's matched up. He sensed Duran was on his hip. He got him on the hip because he's a wide-bodied kid, and then he gets fouled on the elbow and finishes it. That's even bigger. He hits him on the elbow. Nice finish by Frank. He's really going to be a treat to watch here at ECU. He's had a little bit of an issue staying healthy. Some feet problems this year, and he started the last couple of games. The plan all along was to start him at center. He had 15 right. against Temple. And has 11 here today as he completes a three-point play. Pirates are closest as they have been in a long time since early in the first half. Duran turns. Frank got him on the hand. He is so good. I mean, that's just a great matchup. But look, nothing wrong with Frank. That's good defense, high hands. Duran is, watch his, watch his play by Duran. Good defense by Frank. High hands, he makes the shot. Don't know if he fouled him, but it's a bucket. I mean, just it doesn't matter. Just a heck of a shot. 13 for Duran. He's one of two at the stripe today. 13 points, six rebounds. He's not a great free throw shooter. You can pick up a point here if you're East Carolina. He's a 58% free throw shooter. I officially they don't have him with a block shot today. I find that hard to believe, but he's altered a lot. Missed the free throw. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now don't turn it over. So if you're ECU again, you just run your offensive sets. And I'm telling you, whoa, he yeah, Piona just ran over Jackson. One of the two. I'm not sure which one. That's going to be the third on Keon. They're going to call it on. They're going to call it on zero. Timberlake. He watch you. Watch this run over. Boom. I mean, he ran over Jackson. I mean, Timberlake was coming through that screen and just ran over. So that is the third on Earl Timberlake, who made his seventh start of the day. Now can, he's the transfer from Miami. Can you pick up a point here? Do you make both? See, that's it's 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 that kind of game. Jackson, 59%, now three of three today at the foul line. 
And if you're East Carolina, you got to like the way you're playing because they're, you know, you're at home. Crowds are still in it. Seven point game. Bates. Harris for three. Gonna be East Carolina ball. And that's Javon Small on the ball defense. Give Javon Small, he's going out, but let me tell you, he made that shot get rushed. What a great job. He played well against Cincinnati, and he's playing well right now. The freshman from South Bend, Indiana at Compass Prep last year in Arizona. Some action off the ball, no call. Fans wanted it. Suggs picking it up off the floor as Robinson White got ball. a little careless handling the basketball. The arrow gives it to the Pirates. Yeah. You can't you can't you can't be too cute in this kind of game. They're just you gotta understand, you're against Tyler Harris, who is as quick as a cat. Robinson White, now to Suggs, Newton. Mr. Newton with just four points here today. Drops it to Frank, takes it into traffic. Robinson White, they won't get the three off. It'll go in, but they're going to say it was a violation. He wanted him to shoot it in the paint. He kicked it out. Joe Dooley's upset. He wanted him to shoot it. with. The... He said, you had the shot. Out of 19 for 42 percent. You know, the math, uh, you know, you look at Timberlake and you say, well, he's on the bench. He's from DeMatha, was at Miami and transferred to Memphis. Four he's star at DeMatha. Right. They put there a few guys in the show, haven't they? And tipped up and in. Nobody put a body on the big guy during. Suggs down again. He got bloodied, I believe. Yeah, I'm sure he did. You'll see him get it in the face here. And that's. But see, you still had chances, but you know, you just couldn't get there. Good drive. I like to say he's a great player. He's a four-star recruit. Good job by Frank to come over, but no help, and he ends up hitting it. That's a big bucket. Memphis now with a nine-point edge. Pirates have got it to seven. They trailed by 19 in the first half, 14 at halftime. And again, you, you can get open looks if you can get downhill. And, that's, and, and then you've got to hit that jumper when you get it. Much like they did against Cincinnati, Pirates outscored them by 12 in the second half. They've outscored Memphis here after halftime, 24-19. Ahead, laying yeah. it in is Keonis. That's a, that's a big-time mistake by freshmen's not getting back on defense. It's an 11-point game. Now that's a big, big, big mistake by East Carolina. Newton clearing space, shooting, scoring. Again, the transition game just killed you if you're ECU. Six for Newton today. Had a double-digit consecutive streak snap at Temple last Saturday. Had reeled off 16 straight games dating back to last year of 10 or more. Better matchups for ECU defensively. Can you get through them? Harris, quick trigger. Wow. Looped it in. Wow. Yeah. Well, Tristan didn't shoot. Tristan didn't shoot, uh, didn't shift, didn't get on him, and that's all he needs, and there's the record right there. He's tied it. Now he's made the fifth most threes in Memphis history. With that one from the Top of the circle, double-digit advantage for the Tigers here. Jackson tried to swing it out to Robinson White, who had to come over and collect it. Step back, Newton for three. No. It'll be Memphis basketball. Jackson had the three and didn't take it. He has to take it. I mean, he is your guy. He, he ball faked and took it on the floor. He's so good at shooting it, you have to do it. Again, the matchups are good for East Carolina, but what a big-time shot by their leader. Harris. 13 today for Harris. Duran is leading the way with 15. Eights with 13. Minot had recorded 12 before he was ejected earlier. 
Back in is Dandridge with the four fouls. Wild shot. TCU gets a break there. I like what I like what Memphis did. Now they are enormous underneath with both Duran and Dandridge <laughs> on the floor, and, and also uh, very physical with those two. Here's the freshman Johnson checking in. See if he can provide some energy. He's been a real energy guy for ECU this year. A 6'9", 210-pounder from Raleigh. Jackson handed his face for three. Off target. Johnson trying to keep it alive. Should be East Carolina ball, and it will stay with the Pirates. 20 on the shot. 5'19 to go in the game. I like that Jackson took it because he is your guy. I mean, you could wait a little deeper in the shot clock, but he's the guy that can knock it down. Robinson White, who has not scored in the second half. On the cut, Felton. Jackson, step back. Shot is good. Big time shot by Jackson. And again, you're down 10 and still in it, keeping the crowd in it. One big bucket, and this thing can erupt for ECU. You, but you got to get a defensive stop. Tyler Harris. Duran. Post extended. Johnson trying to defend him. Double comes. Kicks it out. Robinson White out on Harris. Oh. They switch back. Well, Harris got away at the travel. With two on the shot, it's bricked. Pirates a good defensive stand. Yeah, that's what they had to have. Now, can you get a good offensive stand? Tough catch by Johnson. Jackson. Pump fake. Corner. Here's a three from the freshman. No. No. Newton over the top called for the foul. Yeah, and they've had open looks. I mean, my gosh, they've had the open corner look on the dribble drive and can't knock it down. And that's part, and Duran's the key. He's just plays so good inside for the Tigers of Memphis. ECU 38% from the floor today, 8 of 22 from deep. East Carolina got it to seven a few minutes ago. They've been able to not get it any closer here in the second half. And again, Harris has settled this team down. He's done a lot of good things. Stolen. Robinson White, the Suggs. All of a sudden, that's all I say, it can erupt on you. Eight-point game. Fine. Nice job getting back by the Pirates. Get it to your leader. Get it, to, get it to the man. Get it, get it to Harris. Defense, defense, defense. Dandridge. Defense, defense. Fakes, patient, miss. Suggs had it, lost it. Bodies go flying. Duran picks it up, whips it in the corner. Keonis, short, got it back. Barreled in, off, it's a foul! He's got four. A great defensive job by ECU and a good call. A real scramble. Throw it away. So you play good man to man and stay with it. He takes the timeout. Nice job by ECU defending. That'll leave Memphis with one remaining. Yeah, it, it, you got to understand what ECU's done today. Bates inbounding. Gets it in. They double. It's a stolen. Work. Pirates up with it. Suggs blocked. Rejected underneath by Timberlake. Look here, though. It's again, another turnover. Newton. And he'll go to the foul line with 121 remaining. It's that kind of game. You keep the heat on him. He went full court pressure. Give credit to ECU. But Dooley took his last timeout, put the full court press on, and then after the timeout, kept it on. And now if Newton can knock these down, it's a one possession game with a minute and 21 to go. Kristen Newton, excellent this year at the strike. He has 10 points here today. And again, you've got matchups that you like, but you've got to understand, if they beat the press, there are no bigs in for East Carolina. You're going to go straight inside. ECU's small right now, really small. Double digits in 18 of his last 19. It's a three-point game. We have a foul. 
And not the one in one. On the Pirates, yeah. That's not bad. You're not the one in one. It gives you a chance to set up. But what my point is this. When you get to the other end, you're going inside to the big man. I mean, you've got a lot of chances to do stuff. It's the third on Suggs. Memphis by three. And then Newton on a cheap reach in will be tagged for his fourth. Well, if you're East Carolina and this is the guy you want on the line, I mean, let's face it, this kid going to the line is an 81% foul, foul shooter. And, and I like what Memphis is doing. They're tra trading offense for defense. Bates goes out, Dandridge comes in. This is the guy. Look, it's come down to the two guys you want. Harris is on the line for, for Memphis. Duke just hit two for ECU. Memphis is going to slip Jacobs back in here. Durant is out. Harris has only missed five free throws all season. Yeah. And he likes this kind of situation. One and one here. Loud as this building's been all afternoon. Missed it. How about that? 81% guy. That's what I'm saying. When it gets down to games, can you do it? Pirates can tie with a three. Newton. Jackson from the corner. Tie game! 70 all! And then Memphis is struggling right now. I'm telling you, just play good defense. Kenyonis. Just, just play good defense if you're ECU. I'd go inside, though. ECU has no big defender. 10-0 spurt for the Pirates. They've scored 14 of the game's last 16. High ball screen, go to the bucket. Harris the leaner. No. Dandridge. Kenyonis and Penny Hardaway burns his final timeout. 19 on the shot, 30 in the game. It has been... Quite a game here this afternoon. ECU has inched back in this thing after being Kenyonis. I think that's a tough matchup. Uh, this is a really tough matchup for Jackson. Kenyonis, Harris with 12. You got it. This is tough. Here comes the ball screen and the roll. Kenyonis takes a peek at the shot clock. Tough matchup for Jackson. Kenyonis goes to the rack. Kenyonis foul. First on Jackson. Eighth on the Pirates. Quinones is on the season a 73% free he throw. He turns the corner on him and he gets him on the on the shot, but he didn't let him make the shot. That's big. I thought Suggs would take Quinones, but instead it was Jackson and Jackson. I thought Suggs would take Bates. He's the junior. There yeah, he, is it. That's a big a, shot. Now, now, if you're ECU, do you try to go for the win with a three? How do you play it? You have no timeouts left. Well, Sai, the first thing you have to do, should he miss this, is secure the ball. Well, exactly. If he misses, you go for you go for two. No timeouts is the problem with Joe. Missed it. Pirates do not need a three to win. A hoop wins it for East Carolina. Newton has been a big hero again. all year. Tristan. Suggs, big afternoon for him. Frank inside, blocked away with .7. Oh, man. A lot of contact underneath. No timeouts is the problem. They want them to look at the clock. Well, this will also allow the Pirates to. Yeah, that's a great job by DeMaio. This will allow the Pirates to get together nice. and draw up something. Nice job by the assistant coaches. Let's see if he gets fouled here. No, great play by Dandridge. Uh, uh, was it Timberlake? Was yeah, it? Timberlake. With Timberlake, the block. great left-handed play by Timberlake to knock it down. He didn't play last game, so I got the start here today, and you're not going to look at his numbers just a couple of points, but he's done a lot of other little things today. Yeah, he has. Now, what do you do if you're East Carolina? It's got to catch and shoot it, so it, and, and so you've got to get it in off of screening, and maybe Tristan Newton takes it. If I'm Memphis, I'm switching everything. I'm not going to make it that easy. They are so big inside. Eight block shots here today. Yeah. One second. They're going to put it to one. 
which is a big break for East Carolina. Plus, you got time to draw it up. And you got to give the, the bench, the assistant coaches for East Carolina, for getting that done. So one second and inbound on the baseline. Let's Again, take a here's the block. You look like you got the shot. And look at Timberlake, the Memphis, uh, the Miss, uh, Miami transfer from DeMatha High School. Suggs. Yes! Oh, yes! 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 Pirates win! Pirates win! Pirates win! Holy mackerel! Holy mackerel!